runner up three times. So you came <laughs> so close and then so finally you won. Um, I, honestly, I was in complete and utter shock. Neither of us thought that we were going to be the ones that took home that mirror ball. We thought the highlight of our night was that we got three tens for our freestyle. And then they <laughs> went and gave amazing. us a mirror ball. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was incredible. And our freestyle yeah. was great. It was our best dance. But then they went and called our names for this mirror ball. And neither of us knew what to do with ourselves at that point. It was just, I initially had this overwhelming like joy and then it set in that they actually called our names to win it. Yeah. And yeah. Bobby and I actually backed away from each other. <laughs> In disbelief? Disbelief, yeah. looking at each other. And I was just looking at him going, I don't understand what's going on. I don't understand what's going on. They were my words, looking at right. me. I don't understand what's going on. Well, remember the last time Ben and I saw you was at the CMA? Yes, yes. yes. And um, I told you I'll bring that Mirabal trophy home You to better Nashville. lock it up. You better you lock it up. You got it. You got it. I'm telling you, I... It's so funny that Bobby is the one that, that I took it home with. You know, he's not the one at the start of the season where I thought, oh, yeah, we've got this. Right. This, is, this is that ringer where you know you're going to take it home. But it was certainly that season where our fans were looking for something indifferent. He's such a good and human. And he's very self-disciplined. Very self-disciplined. Very self-disciplined. He's uh, probably harder on himself than I think I was on him. Right. Uh, right. He's such a dedicated person to what he's doing in the moment. And... Uh, you know, the hard work pays off and the perseverance. Definitely. We actually have video Probably. of the yeah, moment of truth where you guys oh, are winning. Yeah. Check this out. <laughs> so great. The winners and new champions of Dancing with the Stars are... Bobby and Sharna. <laughs> it's Bobby's face. Oh, I don't know if you see what's going on. is like, am I, is Ashton Kutcher gonna walk out? Right, Have yeah. I been fun? Yeah, it's like, like no, you won, this is, this is it. I think the best part is the look on everyone else's face too. Like well, all, all four couples had the same reaction. Like all four of us were like, why? He worked so hard for that moment. Yeah, oh my gosh. So he worked the, so hard. You yeah. Are. yeah. I have. I've had some incredible partners. I've danced with athletes. I've danced with people with incredible work ethic, but no one can touch Bobby Bones when it yeah. comes to work ethic and really giving it your all. And you know the guts that it takes to get out there and know, it my is, God, I'm really not good at this. Right. And other people are really good at this. It's to be in. Yeah, it's terrifying, you know, and you have to commend him for that. And that he just let everybody see him and his, his raw form of trying to do something he was yeah. uncomfortable. And it was really inspiring even for me. And, and not, not wanting to disappoint you, I always go back to even just my season where it's like, you know, I was partnered with Derek Cuff and I'm going, I don't want to let my partner down right. because mm -hmm. this is his passion. This is what he's been doing since he was yeah. a toddler. You as well. Yeah. And so... Bobby took such a, a personal investment in wanting to help yeah. me win my first Mirable because he felt it was so unjust that I hadn't won one yet. So he right. almost took it upon himself to be like, we have to do this. And he really wore that and felt that deep. And, and uh, I love him for that. Yeah. You, know, that's so you can wonderful. tell y'all had a beautiful friendship. Yes, he'll be in my life forever. We are forever connected and bonded. Not just because of, yeah. yeah. Not just because of the win. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we were bonded before that, but my gosh, that, that going through that entire journey and being able to, oh, yeah. to achieve that with each other was just... And sometimes discovering a passion that you didn't know you had. Yes. You know, I didn't grow up ballroom dancing, so I didn't know anything about <laughs> it, and so I didn't know that I would love it. I'm sure Bob loved um, discovering that passion within ah! him. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know. But if conquering he, yeah. that journey. I mean, it's amazing. The journey he thrived on because he yeah. thrives. That, that fail until you don't. Conquer right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That is so very much him. But I don't think he's going to be out salsa dancing anytime soon. Yeah. Uh, but he absolutely loved that, that process of, uh, you know, adversity and triumph mm -hmm. and, and, you know, where we got at the end of it. it it's irreplaceable, that journey. You can't yeah. recreate that. And now you have a, a cardio dance class as well right now. I do. Tell us about that. So it, it, the inspiration for my cardio dance series came from so many people asking me, how did you get all this confidence? How do you, you know, you know, love the skin you're in? Uh, I admire you so much. I'm inspired by you. And truly, it wasn't always that way for me. 
You know, I was a, a normal kid that grew up in a very difficult industry of dance where you, you're very body conscious. So oh, I was yeah. being weighed on a scale at the age of 15 in front of everybody every Tuesday oh, yeah. night. So we would stay a certain weight and every Tuesday I'd get told I had to lose more weight. You know, it's, it's terrifying. And I wasn't an overweight kid. I was a kid, right? you know? Right. And so I grew up with a lot of body issues. And then you come into this industry where there's a microscope on you on oh, every yeah. little thing. And really it was is learning to trust what my body could do for me and, and yeah. learning to dance with it and, and loving the way that I could move and things I could feel when I moved yeah. and what I could create with that. Telling and that story through the form of dance. Yes. By the way, I um, often dance in an empty warehouse, just so you know that. That's, that's it's the that's, best way to do it. Yeah, it is the best fair. place to it dance. It is the best way to do it. It's truly special. Um, and so I, you know, I wanted to share that experience and I get to see that every season on Dancing with the Stars, how dance tra transforms lives. Mm -hmm. yeah, their confidence in the way they Helps move. Helps you grow. Yeah. yeah. A person. The, yeah. the best success story that I can share with you is Noah Galloway, uh, oh, yes. He's our army vet, our veteran who was missing his left arm and left leg. And by the end of our season together, he was walking so fluidly on his prosthetic leg with so much more confidence. He felt like he had grace, like he wasn't just hobbling around. And I think that is one of my greatest achievements with, this, with Dancing with the Stars is being able to give him that. And yeah. so I wanted to create a platform where I could help people share in that experience and loving what your body can do for you, getting fit at the same time, mm -hmm. burning calories, but really feeling like you love the skin you're in. And dance Definitely. does that for you. Awesome. Absolutely.